Okay, guys, let's try the rectangular equations again. So part one, parametric equations. Part two, rectangular equations. So just a reminder here, uh, we have our rectangular equation for ellipses, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. And to get our parametric equations, we have x is equal to h plus a cosine of t and y is equal to k plus b sine of t. So we are now talking about going from uh, parametric equations to rectangular. So we're given our parametric equations. We're given x is equal to 2 cosine of t minus 3, y is equal to 5 sine of t plus 4. So we want to extract the information that we can from our uh, parametric equations. So what's being multiplied to our um, cosine and our sine, that's our A and our B. And what's being added or subtracted, that's our center. That's our H, K. So from the X, we get our H, negative 3. From the Y, we get our uh, K, that's 4. So our center is at negative 3, 4. And then we take our A. Now for this equation, the rectangular, we need a squared. So we're going to square this on both sides and we get a squared is equal to four. And then we take the B, that's five. And again, for the equation, we're going to need B squared. So we just automatically square that. B squared is going to be 25. So we plug in as we have it. And we um, get that X plus three, okay, and um, over four, Okay, so x plus 3 squared over 4 plus y minus 4 squared over 25 is equal to 1. Now, again, you want to understand why this changed to a plus 3 when it's a negative 3 here. Okay, it all comes for down to the formula. It's x minus h, so that's going to be x minus a negative 3, and minus a negative changes this to a positive. Over here, we have y minus a positive 4, so that stays y minus 4. And then we have our a squared, which is 4, and our b squared, which is 25. Okay, and that would be our ellipse right there. Let's try another one. I want you guys to try to extract the information here yourself. Remember, if I'm not adding anything, if I'm not adding or subtracting a number here, then I want you to think about what represents nothing there. Um, so go ahead and take a second, identify your center and your A and your B, and we'll check in together. Go ahead and answer some of these questions, okay? Um, okay, so let's take a look. For our center, we have our X, we have plus 1 here, okay? That's going to be our H. And then over here for the Y and the K, I have nothing, so that's going to be a 0 there. So my center ends up being 1, 0, okay? Now, a comes from my x equation, so my a is equal to the square root of 2. Well, I'm going to need a squared for my rectangular, so I square both sides, and I get that a squared is equal to a 2. Over here, I get my b from my y equation, so I get b is equal to 2. Square both sides, I'll get b, is e b squared is equal to 4. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and plug in. From my center, h is going to go in here. K is going to go in here. My A squared is going to go in here, the, the, the denominator for the X. And my B squared is going to go in here for the denominator for the Y here. And so we get X minus 1, that's our H, squared over 2, that's our A squared, plus Y squared, Y squared because Y minus 0 is just a Y, so Y squared divided by B squared, which is our 4, is equal to to one. Hopefully you got that when you went through and solved it. Um, so that's going from parametric to rectangular, just kind of re-extracting the information and going backwards in our work. Okay. Um, let's talk about graphing. Now this connects directly to what we were talking about earlier, where we were looking at those, uh, those horizontal radius and the vertical radius. So remembering what A and B represent. A represents your horizontal radius, B represents your vertical radius. And so over here, um, when I extract the information, which I'm going to extract the same way I just did for going to rectangular, okay, my center right here is at negative 2 and negative 4. 
So I have a center at negative 2 and negative 4. And my A right here from the X, that's 3. My B right here from the Y is 5. So that means this is my horizontal radius, 3. This is my vertical radius, 5. So I start at my center at negative 2, negative 4. Now for my horizontal radius, I'm going to count 3 to the right and 3 to the left. Now notice this is going by 2s. So I go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Go back to my center. Now I'm going to do the vertical points. So my vertical radius is 5. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come back to my center, other direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so I get these four points right here. 3 to the right, 3 to the left, 5 up and 5 down. And then I just connect these curves. Okay, in an elliptical fashion, in a curved elliptical fashion. So I connect these curves here and I get my ellipse. And notice this one's been squished in a little bit on the uh, right and the left, which makes it longer on the vertical axes here. And that's it. That's all it takes to actually graph your ellipse, guys, from your parametric and your rectangular. Okay, um, go ahead and complete the practice problems. Go ahead and complete the, um, the questions in the videos. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure that you email me.